Hi, Gary here. Happy Thanksgiving. Tomorrow uh, made me think a little bit about gratitude and how Americans uh, ubiquitously are very grateful and just a very giving and charitable people. Uh, but I want to kind of go back to um, a Frenchman who came to the United States in 1831 by the name of Alexis de Tocqueville. Now he wrote a book called Democracy in America, but one of his observations, and I'll read to this, was this. Americans of all ages, conditions, and dispositions constantly yank together, goes on to saying, Americans group together to hold fets, found seminaries, build inns, construct churches, distribute books, and then he says, I have frequently admired the endless skill with which the inhabitants of the United States managed to set a common aim to the efforts of a great number of men and to persuade them to pursue it voluntarily. You know, uh, it's interesting because the tax code was established in uh, 1913, and a few years later, 1917, uh, they immediately put in a, a segment about um, having a deduction for individual contributions to charities. In the following year, in 1918, the estate tax deduction was uh, established for charities. And, you know, it's interesting, we are such a culture of giving. Uh, you'll see this both monetarily and not monetarily. We gave $223 billion individually, collectively, in 2012. But if you look at, you know, just the past decade or so, look at the support that took place at 9-11 and Katrina and just last year in Superstorm Super Sandy. You know, just people come out in droves collectively to help out others just from their time. So we see this both from a monetary standpoint and from a time standpoint. And as Alex de Tocqueville basically said, is it's uniquely American. So at this time of year, when you're looking out there at uh, typically writing checks for your favorite charities, and a lot of that is done in these last few months of the year between Thanksgiving and the holidays coming up, you know, and Christmas and New Year's and so forth, um, you'll find a lot of that. But the recent statistics have shown, a study that took place said that one out of three successful Americans has a, a basically a planned giving program. You might be asking yourself, well, what's a what is that? Well, plan giving programs come in a bunch of different forms, but primarily there are things like charitable remainder trusts, uh, foundations, uh, donor advised funds, and the like. And you find people put these formal uh, plan giving programs in place because they want to make this part of their life throughout the entire year. Now, if you're writing checks right now, and that's great, and that's exactly what you want to do, but if you're thinking of moving into a future uh, more, uh, I guess, monetarily committed program, of which the tax code supports very well, uh, you probably should go and talk to uh, council because uh, this has to do with income tax law, deductions, and state tax law. There's deductions there as well and different things. It's irrevocable most of the time. And you're dealing with cash flow issues and balance sheets and what's going on with those assets. So it's a, it's a fairly complex area of the law, but it's very important before you make a decision in that area that you seek out counsel on that. And we're certainly available to you know call us to talk about that if you have an interest in that particular area. But I just want to wish all of you a wonderful Thanksgiving and a, and, and a great beginning to the holiday season. So until next time, enjoy.